Good morning. I'm here today to announce that the program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. The nation must set and enforce a limit on how many immigrants we admit each year, and that means all cannot be accepted. liberty opportunity um, that's all that you want for yourself and for your family and yet people are telling you you don't belong here It's very important that everybody in our state gets prepared. Three days of water per person, three days of food per person. Make sure you have all the medicine you need. You've got to be ready. It's not good for you. It's not good for the stress. You have to do it early, as early as you can. The line to get uh, water goes around the whole supermarket. I didn't think it was that serious until seeing how people are acting up. There's actually some uh, two people fighting over cutting the line. The only that you get two waters and the line is around the block. This is the third place I came to today. This is the first one I got any water in. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Human Service News and Information. I'm Hassan Rishi Rose. I'll be here with you for approximately 25 more minutes. It's excellent being here with you and it's such a great achievement to come into your lives like we do here uh, daily at CCTV. Such a great achievement and a great accomplishment to come uh, before you like we do here daily at CCTV. Okay, um, first I'd like to send out my condolences deep in these two um, people who have been directly in the path affected by this a natural disaster, and that was uh, Hurricane Irma, the second, I guess, within uh, 30 days. And uh, that uh, video that you just saw, that was Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Tuesday, it was classified as a three or four hurricane, but today it moved into the range of a, a class five hurricane. So everybody in Miami Dade County, they had to leave. Well, because when the when hurricane is classified as five, I guess five and over, you got to evacuate. So my deepest sympathies and condolences go out to all the people who are affected directly and indirectly in the Caribbean and on into Florida by this hurricane. So uh, hopefully uh, we will be experiencing the tail end of it soon. 
and uh, so the people can begin to recover. And uh, if you'd like to help them with the recovery, I suggest that uh, first you start with the Red Cross. That's uh, redcross.org. And the web, their website will give you further directions. Or you can contact Cambridge City Hall. And that's, uh, what's that, 857 uh, Massachusetts Avenue. And contact the city clerk. Uh, or either the city manager or the mayor herself, Ms. Denise, uh, Mayor Denise Simmons, and they can give you further direction on how you can participate or in some way, and and uh, helping to um, do to do some salvation, uh, salvaging the lives and properties of the people affected by this natural disaster. I'm Hassan Rashid, and once again, it's excellent being here with you, and so I extend out the universal cordial. Uh, of peace to you, okay, and uh, and your loved ones, and the neighborhood, and the community, okay. Can't forget about the community, okay. Um, uh, once again, my deepest sympathies, condolences go out to all the people who are directly affected by the second uh, hurricane, Hurricane Irma, tropical storm, okay. Uh, soon, I'd like to say one more thing. Well, I have a few things about CCTV here. Backlight barbecue is coming up. And they're featuring uh, the, uh, I guess, this group is perennial. You're here all the time. Every year when they have a back lot barbecue. And that is Zilly Masik. Masik. Okay. And uh, it's an all-female group, too. Zilly Masik. And they'll be featured at the uh, Cambridge Back Lot Barbecue. That's September 14th, next Thursday. And uh, if you like additional information on the availability of tickets for this event, you can contact or run. Uh, Coda Drummy at 617-401-4005 or Coda at uh, ccambridge.org. Okay, we're going to try to speak a little bit about this uh, before uh, before we leave the air. Okay, so I'm going to just read a paragraph of this uh, print on the guy. And it's about uh, the hurricane, uh, tropical hurricane Irma. Irma prompts Miami Dade to plan first major Evacuation in 12 years. Okay, Miami-Dade County is planned to order evacuation for Miami Beach and much of the mainland coast in advance of Hurricane Irma menacing uh, track towards South Florida. And I think it's hit. It's it's early today, this afternoon, I think it hit. And uh, the people are just looking at the, uh, <laughs> uh, just uh, scoring up the damages that's been done as soon as it, all of the, the rains and everything, everything stops. Okay, I got it. I got a few other items here that uh, if we time permits, we get in about uh, about CCTV. Okay, the CCTV uh, has is offering a new inter internship program. Okay, get inside the news, get experience, get college credit. That's uh, okay. So in order for you to, uh, to to find out more information or enroll in this uh, new uh, uh, intern program, you can. Uh, you can email. You can email somebody here at CCTV. That's neighbormedia at ccambridge.org. Or, or you can send your resume, cover letter, work samples to neighbormedia at cctv, org. That's the new CCTV uh, news internship program. There's some classes coming up that I think you'll be interested in. Uh, those of you who are interested in all of the media programming and classes that they have here at CCTV, this class is entitled... Photoshop 102, and it's being offered Wednesday, September 13th, 6 to 9 p.m., $40 for members, $65 for non-members, and enrollment is required. So if you'd like to sign up, you got to call. you got to call 617-401-4009, and that's Cambridge Community Television Street, 438 Massachusetts Avenue, uh, right here in the heart of Central Square. Okay, i got another one, cell phone cinema class coming up here, too, and that's um, uh, October well, the street dates for this one, that's uh, September 21st, 28th, and the 5th of October, and the 12th. This is a four-day co course, excuse me. I said three, four, four days. So it's from 6 to 9 p.m., $70 for members, $160 for non-members. Enrollment is required, so you can call 617-401-4009 and inquire about the uh, cell phone cinema class. So that's coming up here at the... Uh, CCTV uh, in, a, in the near future, okay? I've got another surprise for you, and this is a Cambridge's own Marvin Gilmore, and uh, he has just uh, published a book about the history of his uh, uh, astonishing life, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, 
It's right here. That's Marvin Gilmore. The book is titled Crusade for Freedom. And it's a legacy of battling discrimination and building jobs. And you can purchase this at your favorite bookstore right here in Cambridge or anywhere in eastern Massachusetts. Okay, that's Marvin Gilmore, local, local gentleman. And the book is entitled Crusade for Freedom. It's Cambridge owned. Uh, another first for Cambridge, eh? Okay, um, uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, Civil Rights Organization issues joint statement on the Harvey Relief. Okay, these a lot of civil rights groups got together and offered uh, this statement, and I'm going to share it with you. Okay, sharing is caring. So I'm going to share this with you because we care. Okay, the American Civil Liberties uh, Union, ACLU of Texas, the ARC of the United States, Fair Sharing Housing Center, New Jersey, Greater Houston Fair Housing Center, Greater New Orleans Fair Housing Action Center, Human Rights Commission, uh, Campaign Inclusive Communities, Project Texas, Leadership Conference on the Civil and Human Rights, Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law, Massachusetts, uh, excuse me, Mississippi Center for Justice, NAACP, NAACP Legal Defense and uh, Educational Fund, National Coalition for Asian American Specific Development, National CAPACD, National Consumer Law Center, on behalf of its low-income clients, and the National Disability Rights Network, National Fair Housing Alliance, National Housing Law Project, National Low-Income Housing Coalition, Policy and Race Research, Action Council, Texas Appleseed, Texas Low-Income Housing Information Services, and the UNIDOS uh, U.S. is issued the following statement on Hurricane Harvey. That's a uh, civil rights organization's issued joint statement on the uh, Harvey relief, okay? As Hurricane Harvey uh, dissipates, our thoughts are with the people of Houston and other communities along the Gulf who bore the burnt, uh, brunt of the storm and now faced with the daunting job of cleanup and recovery. We extend our deepest condolences to those who lost families or friends in the storm and to those whose homes, possession, and livelihood have been destroyed. So if you like additional information, I suggest if you'd like to help out, Contact City Hall, City Clerk's Office, the Mayor's Office, City Manager's Office, and inquire about how you can help the victims of Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma. And definitely you can go to uh, www.redcross.org uh, uh, to uh, inquire and learn how you can be of assistance and play a part in the recovery of these two, uh, uh, from these two natural disasters. Okay, uh, Ways, and Chair Ways and Means Chairman Kevin Brady. Johnson's opening statement at hearing on determining eligibility for disability benefits, challenging challenges facing the uh, Social Security Administration. Okay, uh, House Ways and Means uh, Social Security Committee Chairman Sam Johnson, Texas, delivered the following opening statement at a subcommittee hearing uh, entitled Determining Eligibility for Benefits uh, Challenges Facing the Social Security Administration. Good morning. Welcome to today's um, Hearing on the challenges Social Security faces when deciding if a person should receive disability benefits, okay? Since I'm chairman, quote, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, okay, that's uh, Mr. Sam Johnson, Chairman Sam Johnson, rather. Okay, quote, since I've been chairman, I've held 18 hearings, to, including today on the disability insurance program on one uh, topic or another, that's a lot of hearings, but the disability insurance program is too important for Social Security not to get it right. Americans pay taxes on their th hard-earned wages for the promise of uh, future Social Security benefits when the worker retires, is unable to work due to a disability or dies. These benefits are, part, are an important part of family financial security and American rightful expect, rightfully expect that when they apply for benefits, if they are eligible, uh, that they will receive them quickly. But for those applying for disability benefits, that isn't the case, et cetera, et cetera. So we spoke on behalf of those who have uh, actually applied for Social Security uh, benefits. And uh, you know how tedious that can be uh, year after year waiting and waiting. So uh, I extend my prayers and, and, and encouraging uh, uh, God to bless those people waiting with the benefit of the doubt. Okay, and also we had a we had a video about the uh, DECA. Okay, and the uh, president he stopped the Obama's uh, uh, I guess it was an executive executive order and the uh, helping uh, immigrant children that were uh, 
brought here to the United States and those and, and eventually wind up working, being employed. And they cut the assistance off, government assistance off to those people. And so I wish that uh, they're blessed with the benefit of the doubt. And when they eventually straighten this and, and reverse the, uh, all of the, uh, these decisions uh, by the president to, uh, to cut these benefits from these people. And I wish them uh, the benefit of doubts on that, okay? I got a, I got a, another, uh, another, I wanna skip a few things because we're winding down time. And I'd like to, to tell you that there's a human service conference coming up uh, right here in the state of Massachusetts, okay? Uh, among the other ones, uh, there's one out in Des Moines, Iowa, that's a national organization of human service, and they have their, their, whole, their conference out in October, and there's still much time. You'll be hearing about more about that uh, in the upcoming episodes of your human service news and information. But the, right now, there's a, another co human service conference. Coming, coming up within state, and it's entitled Human Service Conference 2017, and it's uh, being um, sponsored or promoted, put on by a Center for Human Development and the Cambridge Community College. Okay, Cambridge Community College, Cambridge College just moved out, I think they just moved out of Cambridge to a new, new location, Lower Main Street, Boston, and that's near uh, Sullivan Station, okay? But the uh, this conference is being put on by the Cambridge College and the Center for Human Development, and, and it's entitled Through Her Eyes, 13th Annual Girls Conference, presented by the Center for Human Development, uh, partnership of Cambridge College, October 22nd from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Mass Mutual Center, 1277 Main Street, uh, Springfield, Massachusetts, okay? The Human Service Conference is designed, designated for a variety of professionals, including social service providers and community leaders who work with at-risk girls and women. This year's theme, Through Her Eyes, CCU, addresses the stress and trauma associated with uh, working with such a population, as well as addressing strategies for trauma, client aging out of foster care and uh, maternal mental health. So. Edgecom uh, morning presentation, moving from distraction and overwhelm to engagement and resilience, is described as one in which she will weave her human stories and research into an uh, interactive presentation with tons of uh, aha moments and takeaways. Okay, so the conference 16 workshops uh, include meditation, breath work, and chair yoga presented by Deborah Merriam of Cambridge College, cutting, addressing the problems of self-injury on social media, presented by a panel of physicians and supporting LGBTQIA plus youth and your agencies, presented by James Saltis. Okay, so one of the afternoon workshops, All God's People, Inclusion and Spiritual Services for Persons with Disabilities, featured a panel moderated by Elms College Professor John Payon with uh, presenters including Sister of St. Joseph's, Joanne McNanny of Jericho. So once again, that's the Human Service Conference 2017 coming up uh, in Springfield at the Mass Mutual Center, 1277 Main Street, and it's entitled Through Her Eyes, 13th Annual Girls Conference. So that's, uh, you, you get set for that one. That's, uh, uh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's uh, gosh, October 27th. So you have play time. Plenty of time to, uh, uh, to prepare for that comp conference, too. You don't want to miss that. Okay, so I got some information. I got several uh, items here on women. And the first one is entitled, Ministrating While Homeless in a Nor Inescapable Issue. Okay, and uh, this was uh, published in the Human Service Government, uh, uh, government website, governing website, in the Human Service section. And this is about how um, the yeah, administrating homeless women who administrate are mistreated, okay, et cetera, et cetera. There's one thing that most homeless women can't count on in their otherwise stressful and unpredictable lives, getting their period. And with equal pre predictability, those women struggle every month to cope with the pains of menstrual cramp and the added challenges of trying to keep clean without the benefit of a regular shower, okay? So it's, it's about a two-page article, so I'm gonna cut it short because you get the picture uh, and what, what that's all about. And there's another one that's similar, and it's this is entitled, uh, uh, I'm gonna cut this short and read about a couple paragraphs, sentences, but this is entitled, New Federal Tampon Rules 
follow states and city flow. Okay, while traditionally a subject discussed in hushed tones, tampons have become an issue talked about in public by politicians and policy uh, makers alike. That's, uh, they had a big conversation at the uh, uh, Cambridge School Committee, and this, Denise Simmons wanted to uh, make uh, uh, women's health pro products uh, put in all the schools in the whole district for absolutely free, and people that, don't, that wouldn't have to pay anything. But this is summary. This is federal prisons, okay? Earlier this month, the U.S. Bureau of Prisons issued a recommendation for federal prisons to start providing feminine hygiene products for free to the nation's 13 female inmates in federal penitentiaries, okay? Advocates of the recommendation say it will stop women from having to choose between spending money on tampons and pads and spending money on phone calls to their family. Okay, I uh, submitted a project with the uh, 2017 participatory budgeting uh, uh, experience that, that, that's been coming here for the last three years. And uh, my project was to uh, provide, pro uh, provide home homeless survival kits uh, to the homeless people out there. And all these things like uh, that would help with the issues of ministrating and these tampon issues, etc., would be provided through a homeless survival kit, okay? A homeless survival and first aid kit. But I don't know where uh, my project stands now in the in the decisions, the decision making. There's a what they call a budget committee, and it makes the decisions on which projects get selected for funding. Okay, so hopefully, with God blessing, we can get uh, some help out to our homeless people. Okay, once again, now this is Marvin Gilmore. Okay, Marvin Gilmore. He's from Cambridge, and the name of his book is Crusades, Crusaders for Freedom. And uh, <laughs> we'll read some students here on the back uh, by Paul Cazette. And uh, he's, he's one of the authors of this biography. And this is the action-filled biography of Mel, Mel, Marvin e. Gilmore Jr., an African-American musician turned businessman, the grandson of slaves who rose from boyhood poverty to achieve the uh, American dream by succeeding in business. Uh, along the way, he became a decorated American war hero. And he was the first black man to start a bank in Massachusetts. As a matter of fact, in, uh, I think, uh, uh, New England, okay, so uh, you should be hearing more about uh, this book when you when you uh, set out to to purchase it at your favorite bookstore. That's Martin Gilmore, uh, uh, Crusade Earth for Freedom. Okay, uh, <laughs> a lot of people didn't know yeah, such a great man uh, in their midst right here in the Cambridge, Massachusetts. Also, before I get up, get out of here. Uh, you can also stop by in front of CCTV. There's a little stand out here with the Open Studios. That's a CCTV's newsletter. And everything that's tra transpiring uh, at CCTV until, uh, I guess, September. A new, a new one comes out in October for three months. Well, I guess it'll take us all the way up to Christmas. But this one is out there now. And you can stop by and pick up your copy and find out about all the classes. Everything that's scheduled for September here at the uh, CCT. TV. So, uh, okay, and one more thing, Backlot Barbecue is coming up September 14th, and so you still got time, I think, for tickets. I don't know if they're sold out yet, but you can call Call the Drummy at 617-401-4005, or you can email Cloda at uh, Cloda at CCTV, Cambridge.rock. Dot org. I'm Hassan Rashid, you, and you know, I always leave you with the fact that uh, you should always keep your nose clean and play it straight, and don't forget to assist someone in need of your help, okay? Great achievement and accomplishment to come into your lives and leave you like we do here uh, every day at CCTV. So, uh, next, next, uh, so until next time, I extend the, the great uh, universal cordial uh, peace out to you, and uh, may the people... Uh, uh, overcome these natural uh, disaster experiences that they're uh, suffering down south, okay? Uh, once again, I leave you with the uh, greetings of peace.
Good morning. I'm here today to announce that the program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. Nation must set and enforce a limit on how many immigrants we admit each year and that means all cannot be accepted. Thank you.